Okay, example two, suppose that a rectangular room has a length of 18 feet and a width of 12 feet. An architectural scale drawing of this room, page 197, is made so that on the drawing, the length of the room is 4.5 inches. What will be the width of the room on the drawing? What's the scale factor? So you can see here, the drawing width is not mentioned there. But again, this is a blueprint. Typically in blueprints, the scale factor is the same for all dimensions. So what we can see here is the actual length 18 actual length is 18 feet. The scale length is 4.5 inches. Again, we have a unit disagreement here, so uh, changing the units so they're the same would be helpful. It's easier to make feet become inches than inches become feet, so we don't have to deal with such drastic fractions. So um, I would go 18 feet times 12 inches over one foot. And every time I'm making this so that the unit of foot on top and bottom cancel, 18 times 12 is 216. Okay, feel free to use a calculator to calculate when you need to. So the actual length is 216 inches and the scale length is 4.5 inches. So what my first task here is to find the scale factor. So 216 inches oh, sorry, is the outcome. So if I take my scale drawing, which is 4.5, multiply by a scale factor that I don't know yet, that should equal my actual length. Scale length times scale factor equals actual length. And again, I typically, I go small times scale factor equals big when I'm doing these. It makes the answer coming out to a whole number much more likely. Divide both sides by 4.5 to get our answer. And again, my calculator has the capacity to do that for me, so I'm going to come over here, type in 216, divided by 4.5. That comes out to 48. That's interesting. Book might come up with some different numbers for us, but the scale factor on this specific drawing is also 48. Okay, so now if we look at what we got going on here, we have the actual width versus the drawing width, right? So the actual width is 12 feet. And again, if I do my 12 feet over 1, Multiply that by 12 inches per one foot. 12 times 12 is 144, so that's 144 inches. Okay. What I've got going on this time is I'm trying to find the drawing width, which I don't know, right? So drawing width or scale width, scale width. We don't know. But again, the way I've structured this is I got my scale width or scale length, this is scale, times the scale factor is equal to the actual, right? So that's how I built this scale factor. I took the small number times the scale factor to get the big number. In this case, the small number we don't know. We now know the scale factor is 48, and we know the big number. So if I'm creating a structure here, the small amount we don't know times the scale factor we do know equals the actual width we do know. You simply create a structure and just keep applying the same structure as you go. So to get what x equals the width of this um, drawing, I'm going to divide both sides by 48. Okay, and then my calculator can evaluate that. 144 divided by 48 equals 3. And the unit of the problem at this point is inches and in everything because we changed everything to inches. So three inches would be the right answer for that one. So what is the scale factor? Scale factor is 48. What will be the width of the room on the drawing? Three inches. So again, they asked me about scale factor. I did scale factor ways. Um, you could have also made a proportion if you wanted to. But since they're asking me for scale factor, it makes more sense to go that way. 